you imagine being a teenager, waiting for your first period like all your friends, but it never comes? Well, for one in 5,000 people, that's their reality. These are people assigned female at birth, brought up as young girls, but they're born without a uterus, and this condition is called MRKH. I am so grateful to people like Ella May for sharing their lived experience of having MRKH. So what is it? MRKH stands for Maya Rokitansky Kuster Hauser Syndrome. It's a rare congenital condition where the uterus, the cervix, and the upper vagina don't fully develop when the rest of your reproductive organs are developing, and so you're born without those organs. But most people never realize it until they go through puberty and they don't start their period. So how does that affect them? Well, importantly, the ovaries still do develop. They still have ovaries, which means that they have eggs within their ovaries and they produce estrogen. And therefore they do go through normal puberty. They'll see breast development along with a lot of the other beneficial effects of estrogen. However, there is no uterus or usually fallopian tubes. And therefore, of course, your fertility is affected because you have eggs in your ovaries, but those eggs don't have anywhere to go in order to get fertilized and then to implant when they become an embryo because the fallopian tubes and uterus are missing. However, they do have several paths to parenthood because we already can collect the eggs from those ovaries. They can be fertilized outside and then placed into either a surrogate uterus or more recently, uterine transplants are now becoming available for people who have MRKH. So they can receive a uterus and then become pregnant, give birth and then have the uterus later removed. However, it's important to note that at the moment, this is still in the experimental phase. It's not available to everyone with MRKH, but it's a really promising option for the future. Did you know about MRKH? Let me know whether you've heard of this before in the comments.